the High Park Amphitheater. This sacred land has held stories for thousands of years. We want to acknowledge and thank the traditional caretakers and knowledge keepers of this land. The Anishinaabe Nations, which include the Mississaugas of the Credit River, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Wendat and Métis Nations. We want to extend our thanks to all nations, recorded and unrecorded, acknowledged and unacknowledged, who share responsibility for this land. In this moment when Mother Earth is showing us her awesome power, we hold in our hearts the extreme privilege of living and thriving on this beautiful land. My name is Brendan Healy, and I'm the Artistic Director at Canadian Stage. For the past 38 years, Canadian Stage has held Shakespeare in the Park on this stage. Over the decades, this space has welcomed hundreds of thousands of Torontonians and has been the summer home to hundreds of artists. This year, for the first time in our history, this space has been silent due to the cancellation of our production of the Comedy of Errors. This show is one of many productions that have had to be canceled due to the pandemic. We all miss live theater, dance and opera in Toronto right now. While some companies are announcing activities online and in person, this season will look very different. While many parts of our economy cautiously begin to reopen, the performing arts are in the dark. We were amongst the first to close and will be the last to reopen. The impact to date of the COVID-19 pandemic in the theater, dance and opera sector for the TAPA membership is projecting $500 million in lost ticket sales and 20 million lost audience members. These numbers are staggering. I miss live theater TO begins today and continues until Sunday, September 27th. We are working together in solidarity with numerous affiliate organizations and every day I miss live theater TO will spotlight a different organization to help build public awareness. We are proud to announce I miss live theater TO affiliates include the Playwrights Guild of Canada, the Toronto Musicians Association, ACTRA, Equity, IATSE, the Associated Designers of Canada, Destination Toronto, Working Culture, and AFC. We also wish to thank the Walrus and the Toronto Star for their tremendous support. I Miss Live Theatre TO is a campaign to remind all Torontonians about the power of the performing arts and to raise awareness of the continued impact of the pandemic on the theatre, dance, and opera industry in Toronto. We are also working in support of our partners in the live event community in support of Light Up Live, taking place tomorrow, September 22nd, who are working to shine a light on the tens of thousands of live events workers who are in the wings while theater venues remain in the dark. An hour after sundown, we are asking venues and attractions across Toronto to light the night red, raising awareness for an industry that is in the dark. I Miss Live Theater TO is an invitation to everyone, not only companies and artists, but also audiences and volunteers. Everyone has unforgettable live performing art experiences. It is our hope that by recalling these magical moments, I Miss Live Theater TO will evoke joy, inspiration and hope for the triumphant return of the performing arts in our city. Make no mistake, our theaters will be reignited again and with your help we'll return with renewed innovation, inclusion, equity and accessibility for all. We invite you all to share your favorite Toronto theater moment on your social media platforms using the hashtag IMissLiveTheaterTO. For six months our local artists have brought smiles to our faces and helped us to get through these challenging times. As new programs and initiatives continue to roll out, we ask you to enjoy, engage, and support local professional theater, dance, and opera here in the City of Toronto. We look forward to seeing you again and welcoming you back as soon as it's safe. And in the meantime, please don't forget about our arts workers and our artists, the actors, singers, musicians, dancers, playwrights and dramaturgs, artistic directors and directors, creators, stage managers and technicians, ushers and front of house and box office workers, sound, set, lighting, 
projection and costume designers, choreographers, and so many more. We are still here. I'd say in recent times, it's a tie between Ronnie Burkett's Puppet Theater and Damien Atkins' one-man show at the Crows Theater. My most incredible theater moment in Toronto is when Kate Sanderson would say, Caroline, go. I will never forget Brent Carver's mesmerizing performances in Elizabeth Rex and Fiddler on the Roof at Stratford. It was when I attended the blackout night of the Negroes are congregating at Theatre of Asmarai. Opening the Princess of Wales Theatre in the original Canadian company of Miss Saigon. That moment when I slowly, slowly unwrap a candy 